Thank you, Mr. Pete. You're very welcome, Mr. For Lee. Taking me to a Zen place. Right. Yeah, we needed that just then, didn't we? Today's video <laughs> uh, comes to you courtesy of uh, the Polly Digit uh, or the Polly Bebo. Yeah. Uh, famous actress from the 1960s. Um, <laughs> well, Polly Digit or Polly Bebo? The, the, the short story behind this is at uh, the 2020 NAM show, uh, we were chatting with Josh Smith. He was showing us his new. Um, Myriad Fuzz yep. from Vemuram. Which is also out now, actually. Which is also out now. And he literally got so excited about the effects pedal he was using to get his sort of reverbs and delays and stuff from. Uh, he went, I've got, to, I've got to introduce you to this guy. So we, we wandered around the show, uh, you know, away from his uh, Vemuram stand. And he introduced us to a chap called Loki from Australia, um, who had uh, this touchscreen kind of um, effect pedal that he was uh, showing off. Um, and through chatting with him, it really took on two, it's just about the kind of the highest quality reverb pedal as a pedal, I think, that's on the market. Yeah. Algorithmic reverbs, so you know, essentially digital, digital reverbs that you would, um, it's a new term for me, this idea of algorithmic reverbs, but essentially a digitally programmed reverb, yeah. which is kind of, as far as I'm aware, in a pedal, that's what every other reverb yeah. pedal is. Yeah. But then also now real space reverbs. So uh, if you're familiar with the, the, the technology behind an IR, that's effectively a, a capture of a real speaker. Imagine that but applied to a real space, it's super that's cool. what that is. Yeah. So we've got real spaces. Now the, the you'll see when you, you, you hit the Poly uh, website or the Anderson's website, you'll see two products, one called a Digit and one called a Bebo, and they'll, they'll look exactly the same except for the color of them is different. Yeah. It's a little <clears> bit, um, not misleading is the wrong word, but I think it's just a bit of fun to do them in two different colors yeah. because whichever one you buy, you can operate it using either the Bebo firmware or the Digit yeah. firmware. Doesn't Super simple matter. to switch that between. Yeah, Digit, think roughly, although way more sophisticated if you want to get into it, <laughs> think roughly Digit being ambient effects, reverbs and delays and stuff, and think Bebo being modulation effects. Yeah. But that's just page one of yeah. the manual. <laughs> and out of and the, that's out probably, of, we're not going to get much further page than that. Manual. Yeah. Um, it's insane. I mentioned before it was touchscreen, um, so it's it's quite difficult. This product, really, in the sense of what you're doing is taking a, a super sophisticated, you know, thousand page manual product, and then kind of going, but trying to use the touchscreen in a way that makes it as simple as possible, but but maybe not crazy simple. Uh, if you look at close-up screen here, we've not done anything terribly complicated with this. We, we've, we've put the guitar into a drive pedal, the drive pedal into the poly. Um, the poly, just for ease of use, we're using a, a stereo cable out into two amplifiers. Yep. We could use two mono cables out, which perhaps for a guitar player would be more familiar, but some of the routing would have to be changed and just uh, throughout the presets, it was simpler for us not to. In a nutshell, it's four ins, four outs. Um, so, you know, not just guitar players this is aiming at, this is aiming at a whole myriad of musicians. Um, Good word there. Probably, yeah, use myriad yeah, twice. Twice. Um, keyboard, keyboard players are big See that? Uh, lovers of this. The pedal. hat growing and the cape coming out. So, <laughs> that first thing that you heard by Pete, and we're going to jump into maybe uh, <clears throat> looking at some of the other default presets, that first thing that you heard from Pete was a real space reverb. It's so um, incredible with real space. Imagine yourself going into a cathedral somewhere and that space when you clap and you hear that, like in here for instance, mm. it's completely dead. But if you go into, I went to the cathedral down in um, 
It's on Somerset somewhere. I can't remember. The big one. Like a huge one. And the, the Salisbury? Reverb, yeah, that's it. Salisbury Cathedral. And you, you can listen to that reverb in there, but you can cap you can capture that mm. and put it in this pedal. Yeah. And then use it as you could. I mean, it's a it's a mind boggling. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't thing. think you can capture space of any space you can capture this, and use it in here. As far as I'm aware, this product doesn't. It's not like a Kemper where you can <coughs> take this pedal, you know, with a microphone to a space and capture it. The, the idea is is that you would go to a um, a website where these um, types of IRs are shared. Um, yeah. and you would then download. Uh, you can do your, your own because I saw on Loki was doing some. Was was he? A bit there on the I think it was on, the, on a YouTube channel was using like a. You know, a stereo um, little zoom thing, and then you can capture. Really? Yeah, you capture. Oh, well, look, it. I don't know how it works. Let's I'm, not. Let's get into that. No, so that is. <laughs> so that first bit was was one of the reverbs that you did. Now, yeah. if you look on the closer, I'm, I'm stunning. I think. I think the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to actually come. I'll come back to this. I'll save this as a. I'll save this as a as a preset, um, and then um, we'll call it. Uh, I don't know. Let's just call it uh, Lee Verb or something like that. And I'll come back to this and we'll add other effects to it just to show you how easy it is to do. Super um, easy to but save I think that as well. For the it? time being, I am going to go back to its inbuilt presets. So uh, you'll see everything I'm doing here is from the touch screen. It's quite responsive, um, it's quite high resolution. So although the writing is small, it's nice and crisp and easy to see. So we're going to go through some presets here and uh, just have a little listen. Whilst this is loading, it's probably a good. Uh, point one of the one of the comments that you perhaps see quite a bit from um, Polly and uh, users is uh, there's a the, the, it takes a little while like as in a you know anything from a depending on how complex the the preset is anything from like a, a fraction of a second through to a couple of seconds to load each preset and, yeah and Loki said that the it's really not aimed at that you wouldn't switch from one preset to another mid song. No. The, the idea is you would create each presets and then assign foot switches to the blocks within those presets if you like to switch things on and off or change things in and out. So you stay within a preset for a song. Yeah, it's quite complicated. There's a lot um, going into these presets. So just, just so if you're, you know, if you, if you do decide to dive in and buy one and you set it up so that, you know, you're, you're, you want a certain delay to come on in halfway through your song and you're going to do that by using two presets to do that, that's the wrong way to kind of do it on it. Yeah. Anyway, come on, Pete, no talky, let's just play. That's the
definitely, definitely the presets have been written with a variety of musical instruments in, in mind. So there were bass ones, keyboardy ones, all that kind of stuff. So I think really for now, I'm, I'm, I'm conscious that this demo is, 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 there are two kinds of guitar player that this might appeal to. There is a guitar player that's just like, what's the best reverb I can buy? Yeah. What's the best pedal reverb I can buy? And it's like, well, I think arguably it's probably this. Um, and you could just buy it and very simplistically set up a reverb that you like for, for stage or studio. And then there's the next player that's going to go, how do I get all those crazy, you know, chains of effects where I can have multi-routed signal paths and different <coughs> effects and foot switches triggering different kind of things. It's like, yeah, that's you as well, but not in this demo. I probably never in an Anderson's demo as we're not those kind of guys. But if you, if you dive on over to the Poly website, he is that kind of guy. And anyway. Yeah, he's a genius. So absolutely. I want to show you here. Uh, we'll have to go to close up cam now. So input over here on the right hand side. We are only using a mono input. So anything that I link up to in two, three or four would be pointless because there's nothing going in there. You can see from here the blue lines are the signal paths. So the, the top two blue lines that just go straight to output one and output two without any kind of effects blocks in them. The concept there is if, if effectively we've got a dry parallel signal all the time, as well as the signal that we connect through our effects blocks. You can see this third blue line, which goes through this block called a VCA. I think that stands for voltage control amplifier. And I'll explain why we've used that in a minute into a stereo reverb. And then as you might expect, the stereo reverb has two outputs, one linked to output one, one amplifier, one linked to output two, the other amplifier. Pete's doing his air hostess bit here, which I like. Um, the, um, I could assign the foot switch straight to the reverb if I wanted to. The issue with that is when I switch it on and off, the trails will stop as soon as yeah. I switch it on and off. So what we're actually doing is we're using the, the VCA if effectively as a as a, a volume level between, you know, the, or like a an amp, I suppose, yeah. a, a print, uh, that is just before the reverb. And all the foot switch is doing is turning that from zero to 100 each time so that effectively we're um, stopping the signal going into the reverb by switching it to zero. Yeah. Therefore, the, the trails trial will naturally decay. Yeah. And you get the idea. So that's the, that's a very simplistic one. Yeah. Uh, I think and if I hit the right, amazing. because we've yeah. used a real space reverb, not an algorithmic one. There's no, uh, there are no parameters for that uh, reverb other than um, an amount, like a gain level. So I can yeah. I can turn it down and make it more subtle. A little bit more. Oh. Or just tons and tons. You would set that at whatever your desired level was and, and save it. So let's say now I want to add in something else. So I press the add button. All of my effects are here. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to go through every single one, but you'll see on hopefully on the screen the kinds of things that are here. You'll so absolutely much be going, well, hang on a sec, what's that power amp and IR and da da da? It's like, yep, yeah. there's a ton of stuff in here other than just reverbs and yeah, delays. It takes the website up for all of those yeah. information. You get the idea. Yeah. Um, so, and the other thing as well is Loki here is, is putting out updates for this almost not, daily, not quite daily, <laughs> but a lot. So I think there's yeah. a, there's a definite sense of a user group kind of getting into this and feeding back ideas to Loki and Loki doing stuff. Uh, I, we didn't really touch on this, did we? That the idea of the, the, the processing power and the, and the, um, operating system that Loki's used to design this on the poly could almost be anything. Like it could literally be programmed to be a I mean, games console if yep. somebody decided to program it to do that. So it's quite just a very different concept to um, a, guitar pedal. a normal guitar <laughs> yeah, yeah, pedal. Absolutely. Uh, and that does take a little bit of like getting your head around. So yeah. anyway, look, I just said I'm going to put in a delay. So just a real straightforward delay. So I'm going to hit delay and you'll see the block will appear. Now at the moment you can see the block isn't in the chain anywhere. And I've got the option. I've got several options of how I want to um, line it up. I could put it in line with the reverb. Uh, I could put it separate to the reverb. This is the bit where it's kind of quite intuitive. So uh, when I want to chain the effector, I hold the block where the signal is coming from. 
I connect it to the block that I want the signal to go to and you can see I've now got a nice blue line going from my delay pedal. I've suddenly realized of course this is a actually, this is a mono delay uh, so I'm now connecting it to output one but I also want to connect it to output two. Yeah. So pretty quickly you've got a little spaghetti junction of but did, you got that right that was pretty straightforward. Um, if I'd have chosen a, it, I didn't have to connect it to output two. I could have just had the delay coming out of one amp or yep. the other. Yep. And you can begin to see now about how you four might amps. have different. Yeah, four, you could have four amps. You, you could have four have amps. I mean, distortion pedals and different effects going to different chains. Kind yeah. of cool. So that that's putting a delay in. So if we want to adjust the delay, we um, we tap the block that says delay on it. We'll see some parameters that you'll hopefully all be reasonably familiar with. So you've got level, tone. Glide, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure what that one does. I, so I've just put it in the middle. Um, <laughs> time, uh, feedback and warp, which is a sort of a modulation thing. Oh. Now, I think the important thing to look for here, I got a bit confused when I first used this. The time bar down here is going between naught and 100. So not necessarily indicative of a, an amount of milliseconds, if you like, but it's got a nice and simple to read a millisecond display here. This does insane amounts of delay. One of the, the presets had <laughs> over 30 seconds of delay. So you're playing going, it's not working, it's not working, and you fiddle around, and then literally go, 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 30 go, go, seconds team. later, all the stuff <laughs> that you started playing, and you go, oh, it was working. Yeah. Anyway, so... Um, That's a funny one to do that. You, you play something, and then you put the guitar down, and yeah. pretend you've got another so room, and then... You know, we've got this at 600 <laughs> milliseconds. I'll put a bit of this warp in, because I kind of like the, the modulation. It gives that sort of tape echoey kind of vibe to it. Could make that a uh, little shorter, I suppose. It's worth saying that the two silver knobs on the top of that one does really small increments, yeah, and, one and the other one just it's really fast back and forth. Yeah. So I think on this, I want the one that does small increments, yeah, because uh, otherwise we're into like ten minutes delays. <laughs> yeah. Bit more feedback. So, just in case you saw, what's Lee doing? I was realizing that if I want to, if I want this, you know, Sorry. the knobs here to to adjust a certain parameter, uh, you need there, there's like a little um, color picture of a dial at the end of each one and that's what you should be pressing. I was pressing the actual bar yeah. and, and then of course what happens is, is if I press the bar sort of yeah. at the halfway point, it sets the parameter as like the halfway point yeah. there. So there's little things like that you've just got to get a little bit used to using. Um, so yeah, here we, here we have a, a nice delay, a usable delay. I could oh, assign. So good though. I could it? assign one of these pedals to turn the delay on and off, and just the same in the reverb. It, it kind of depends if yeah. I if I not bothered about the trails. I can just assign the foot switch directly to the delay block. If I'm bothered about the trails, I just put this little VCA block in beforehand. Yeah. Let's put something. Let's just see what else there is. I don't remember if there are any. Is there any modulations in here? But it sounds so good though, doesn't it? We've got a panning thing. I could at least. I could kind of maybe that. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to? Pan? But you got the modulation on the delay, so you know. That's there you true. Go. So, Look, I mean, can that... you just for, can you just quickly turn on the the overdrive? Just I want can. to hear what it does. Just to. I, 
I think that sounds great, man. It really uh, does yeah, sound I, good. Yeah, I kind of agree. Yeah. I kind of agree. In fact, that I don't reverb kind of agree. is just I just do agree. isn't it? Um, the reverb right. is beautiful. What I am going to quickly just do here, just uh, for the end of the video, is um, I am going to change it to the Bebo. So I haven't bothered Bebo. to save that preset, so we'll lose all that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so uh, here we go. And now I'm on the Bebo. So that is it's so simple. Yeah. So again, same idea. Let's just find yeah, a rotary. Quick Check the rotary out in here. Uh, or whatever. Oh, so course, yeah. uh, here, here is um, the same kind of idea, but now Drive we're. Off. Please. Thank you. Uh, basic chorus. I mean, look. Yeah. So there, there are, I mean, I guess ultimately there will be some players that are going to buy two of these and have one doing modulation and one doing I tried that. Uh, ambient. And of course you can do that and it's yeah. full MIDI as well. So you can do that. Yeah, uh, I, so I did have that on. It sounds bloody glorious. Uh, is that, this is the one with the foot switches, right? That's good, isn't it? If so you can imagine the, the reverb with that on. Oof. This, I mean, I think this is the rotary that, that Josh uses a lot. And again, I think foot switch A is the speed break. So if we... To be completely honest with you, is as deep as we're going to go today on this demo. It takes hours. Uh, we're going it, to go it, today. I, I genuinely, as I said, I go back to the comment I made before, which is, you know, this will appeal on one level to someone that just says, I, I only want one effect, one yeah. or two effects, and I just, I just want the best one I can get. And, yeah. that's, and it will absolutely appeal to the person that, that wants to make completely bonkers signal chains of effects yeah. together. Um, I strongly recommend you do dive over to the Poly website as well, because that's be a good place to find other demos by other people that have a different kind of Excuse vibe it. on these things. Uh, it's okay, I've got the perfect screen. Yeah, actually. exactly. I just need the um, other way into my And uh, yeah, these are in stock. Uh, it's a tiny, tiny company. One guy in Australia making these. So, you know, then it's not the kind of, um, if we're out of stock, it's purely and simply been because they, you know, we've had a little run on them and we're waiting for the next batch to come yeah. in. So bear with us on that front. Yeah. But yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for your excellent playing, Mr. Pete. Thank you very much, Mr. Lee. I mean, I, I, I spent four hours yesterday uh, trying to get in, in to grips with them, and it, it's it, once you get it, yeah, it's the little things like holding down, clicking it's just there. It's just different, isn't and it? So you yeah, just have things. to. It's not just turning on, and dialing yeah. it up. There you go. So uh, there we go. Yeah, uh, three ninety nine for. Yeah. As I said, it That's really. Not bad. You can choose whichever color one you want, and then load up the firmware. Uh, How much is the Strymon uh, timeline? More, I think, marginally more. How much um, is the H nine Max? A lot more, isn't so, it? So yeah. What does it run on? Is it just nine volts? Oh, nine volts, five hundred million. So it's the same so thing. It's, anyway, look, there you go. You've got Spec a lot to choose from. on the from. website. Tons yeah. and tons. As I said we scratched the surface there, but that's the poly. Yeah. It's great. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I thought, thank it, you. I thought it sounded great. The, oh, it's the, beautiful. Those reverbs are honestly, just. I think that's me. I'm not interested. The 99 percent of this, literally, it's like me with my iPhone. You love reverb. I just want. Yeah, I know. But I, I, I buy yeah. an iPhone. It can do a million things. All yeah. I want to do is go on the internet and uh, make calls. Yeah. Uh, when you say go on the internet, what do you look at? Lovely, look, uh, yeah, anyway. guitars mainly. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I could see myself just going, yeah. Can I just have one of those real space reverbs, yeah. and I'll pay 3.99 for that. Happy days. Never change sounds, anything. It sounds glorious. But you choose. Who are you? Yeah. Comments below please. Uh, that's it. Thank yeah. you very much. See you next time. Mm -hmm.